IHC Infinity is IR Comics' digital singles label with a shared music video universe. Think of it like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but for music videos and no superheroes. It's the first of its kind. As a label, it's a way for us to catapult artists that we believe in into the next phases of their careers. We have an amazing distribution partner uh, with Caroline and utilize our full reach as a brand towards our releases. The Infinity Music Video universe is inspired by John Carpenter, horror, and teen comedy films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. We are trying to recreate the tone and effects, and yet it's set in a modern world uh, for kind of a timeless feel. The story is open enough that we can service the artist's imagination, yet each video is a collaboration, which is a big part of the fun. The first music video that we did in the Infinity Universe was for Cella. She's an Australian pop singer, and she came to the table with her own idea that she wanted to direct. So we had to find a way to integrate our concept uh, with her music video without interfering with her vision. We had this image of our friends Nina and Gian posing as this goth couple, kind of like a prom photo, and we placed it in the music video because we used Gian, the male actor, in a role playing a cashier at a Mexican restaurant. The rest of the video is essentially Chella performing, singing, and seeing her story through. When we moved on to the picture plane video, we picked up where we left off at the Chella video with Gian getting off work at the Mexican restaurant. He goes home, he puts on makeup, and he becomes this goth character. He picks up Nina, and we see that photo become a reality in the video, and they go to a party. That small bit of information opened up a whole new world for us because all of a sudden we're meeting a new cast of characters and we're seeing how they operate in this world. Also in this video, we are introduced to Hyperreal, which is an energy drink created by Nomadic, a big evil corporation that serves as our villain. And Alex Stone, our main heroine, setting the stage for all the future stories to come. So Alex locks eyes with Danny who's essentially consumed an entire box of Hyperreal at this point. They find themselves in a room together making out, which I feel causes some sort of internal chain reaction with all the Hyperreal and all the excitement, and it leads up to one big giant face melt. Alex runs out and we don't see her character again until our next music video, which was for Gavin Turek. When it came time to create a music video for Gavin, we really had to sit down and think about what was the next best step for this universe. Picture Plan and Gavin are very different artists, so what would be a great music video for her? You are impossible. We came up with this Mariah Carey meets 90s rom-com type of music video, and we thought it would be really fun to tie it in by having Alex from the last video star as Gavin's best friend. Let's see another side of her. This video starts with a very cheeky reference. Gavin and her two best friends in a car talking about past makeout stories and it builds to Alex making a reference where I was making out with this guy one time. Guy and his face melted off. <laughs> then cut to the car behind and the boys are all drinking Hyperreal. It's a kind of funny, subtle nod back to this experience we just had and we wanted to set another tone in the universe so it's just not all sci-fi and horror stuff. What's next for IHC Infinity is a short film we've created for our latest release on, on the label from Mark Redito called So Many Things to Tell You. Mark gave us creative license to tell an Infinity story, so it's the first time we've been able to make a mini movie set squarely within the universe, and the first time we've had enough videos that we can see if this crazy idea is gonna work. The video picks up approximately one year after the events of Gavin Turek's video. Alex has been missing for most of that time, and when we see her again, she's obviously changed, taking on more of a Sarah Connor from Terminator 2 vibe. So she's picked up by a couple on their way to a camping trip. 
One of them is obsessed with a popular toy from Nomadic called a ziggurat. The toy has all these strange properties that causes all these kinds of issues at the campsite as everyone wants it. We meet the goth couple again and weird shit goes down as we find out this object is definitely not a toy. After this, we feel like we're gonna be able to have a ton of fun in terms of where we can take the story because the characters are established, the big bad guy that is nomadic is established, and the relationships are unfolding. The video poses a ton of unanswered questions. Now we can get into the meat of the world of infinity.